Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Leo for the week of February 11th. And I would like to give a very special thank you to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and helping to grow and getting noticed. And for all the thumbs up on the videos and for the lovely comments. Thank you for doing that. And I would also like to wish everyone a very happy Valentine's. All right, your first card out is the Queen of Wands. Beautiful. Courage, conviction, independence. You're very focused this week. And you have a zest for life. Things new coming in. And you want them to just go. You know, and, and they will. Because it's something that speaks to your heart. Maybe this is for uh, some of you. You're taking on the leadership role. You're being that person that everybody looks up to because you've not only accomplished it you've conquered it and you're making the right steps for your your life going forward and the six of cups yeah look at that nostalgia reminiscing you know taking a little bit of time for yourself looking back at your past with happy memories and and you know fondness for your upbringing for many of you, you know, and realizing that not only were you loved and, and got along with people and happy in your home, but now you're sharing it with others and it's making you feel good. And the six of swords. So definitely moving on. You're making a transition here. You're changing, you're leveling up, you're leaving things behind you that no longer are serving you. And this can be in relationships and jobs, uh, you know, family, friends. It doesn't matter, but it's something that releases you as you go. It helps you to feel better about yourself. And you, and once you take those steps, you're realizing that the water is now calmed down. You know, this is higher rate of pay if it's a job that you've taken on. And you're just more comfortable in your own skin going forward. And the seven of rods. So yeah, any challenges that you've had to overcome, you've managed it. You know, you've maintained control of the situation. You're stepping out. You're moving forward. You know, and you've taken on what needed to be before you move forward in something new. And But you're standing your ground. You've, you've made your decision now. You know what you've got to do, what you're going to do, how you're going to do it. And that's it. And the Eight of Cups, look at you. Yeah, there's been disappointments and, you know, things in your life and you've made a withdrawal and you're abandoning something. Like you're literally letting it go, finally. You know, you've exhausted all aspects of it. You've tried, you've, you know, given it your all, you know, and it's gotten you nowhere. And now you're realizing that it's starting to eat at you. It's changing who you are and you don't like that. So you're walking away from this situation and opening yourself up to a whole new way of life. And you're learning to be okay with that decision as you walk away. You're not going to browbeat yourself or second guess yourself because you know it's what you have to leave behind you in order to move forward for the better for yourself. So it's a sacrifice for sure. And the Page of Wands. Yeah, you're feeling inspired by this new idea. Once you discover that, you know, there's no limitations to what you can do and accomplish for yourself and the potential is all there, it's almost like it frees your spirit and allows you to take those new steps. And some of you, it's in travel you know, um, work relationships as well. But there are things definitely changing and starting to go in a better direction for yourself. And you're okay with that because it's long overdue. And look at that, the magician. <laughs> Once you've taken action, you know, the universe is manifesting everything for you. Like you, you wanted something to come into your life or change in a certain way. It's happening. You know, you have the willpower and the self-control and the want for this. So you're moving forward. You have the mindset now and truly focused on achieving your goals 
and you're heading for it. You know, you're definitely cleaning the slate behind you, not going to go back down those paths and heading in a totally new direction for yourself. And look at that. Woo! The sun. There's positive things here coming in for you. Happiness, vitality, joy, wealth. You know, and things are just, the more happy you become and accomplishing things, it just keeps opening you up to more, bigger, better, you know, and, and you're starting to accept that it inspires you to achieve good. And that's the, the steps that you're taking to heal yourself, help yourself. And that way you can heal and help others. And it makes you feel inspired to do this because you're giving everybody else hope. And the Nine of Swords. Yeah. Maybe you're having a little bit of regrets of something that was said or done or what have you. But you're understanding that you have to get past your fears. And if you need to deal with this situation, you know, because you're starting to lose sleep over it, that you're breathing, making the steps forward, making some decisions whether you should say anything or just leave it behind you and just move forward and you know you're not in a hopeless situation here you're understanding that this will disappear as time goes on and it will move you into a whole new area in your life going forward and the ten of cups yeah you've made you know a, a really big step for yourself in your life and with the ten of cups coming in you know it's divine love harmony blissful happiness good relationships you know in your family your co-workers all aspects of your life start to open up for you and you can see the potential in the future because now you've chosen to let the past go step into this whole new opening in your life you're coming out of the shadows you're just Things are starting to fall into place. You're believing in yourself. You have, you know, happiness here. Your dreams are coming true finally. You know, you're feeling inspired with each breath and each step that you take here because of that. Because your home life is happy. You know, things are just, your job is getting better. People around you are happy to see you. You just want to supply the world with the biggest hug right now. <laughs> Look at that. Three of Cups. Beautiful. Celebrations, friendships, collaboration, creativity. You know, this is a beautiful thing for you. And it just opens you up to not only all the possibilities, but the things that you are going to achieve in the future. If this is a celebration, you're being having an invitation. Maybe somebody's inviting you to a birthday or you're throwing a party because, you know, you got that new job that you always wanted or you got engaged or, you know, whatever the possibilities are here. But this celebration is going to help you to see your own accomplishments and your good friends and your family and all the true blessings that you have in your life. And the Ace of Swords, look at you. Yeah, if you were feeling, you know, not inspired or stumped or that, it's done. You know, you're starting to rejoice and have a breakthrough here. You have, you're flooded with new ideas and the success just keeps rolling in. You know, you're sharp-minded, you find new confidence in yourself, which in turn opens you to the world. You know, you're leaving things behind that no longer serve you. And the universe is just clearing a path. You know, just slicing through all the stuff or conflicts that you may have felt or things non-finished, that sort of thing. And it's helping you realize that you're on the right path. Keep going straight ahead. And you will succeed at the dream that you have for yourself. Wow. And the world. Look at that. Look at that. You have definitely crossed the finish line. You know, your dreams and aspirations are all here. You know, you have peace of mind. You're starting over with a clear slate. You can see further into the future than you had even envisioned for yourself. You know, for some of you, you're thinking of now looking into the future of taking trips 
that you've always wanted to take. And that can be just going to the next town. Maybe you've never been there, you know, and now you want to go and you're feeling more confident as you reach each step because the universe has aided you in this new change. All right, I'm going to shuffle you and deal a new card. But wow, these are your angel oracle cards. Your cards are very positive about renewal, rebirth, starting over, freshments. Beautiful. All right. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and the situation in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you. Deserve these changes. Aww. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll talk to you again next week. Bye for now.